I'm seeing a disturbing trend in the real estate market that could cause the next big rush of listings to the market. And yes, I believe that that trend is a result of the events that have occurred since March of 2020. So buckle up because for many of you, the next few years, well, it might be a bumpy ride. Well, I guess for many of you, the last three years have been a pretty bumpy ride. And if that indeed is the case for you, and you need help navigating the market and its current effects on your personal situation, well, go ahead and book a call with me right now using the link in the description below. And of course, if you would like to stay up to date on the market, please go ahead and subscribe and click the like button for the YouTube algorithm because that is the best way you can help me get this information out to other people just like you. And let's face it, if you find yourself in the position that I am about to talk about in this video, then well, you would probably appreciate finding this video. So thank you so much for helping me spread this word to people that need it by clicking the like button. And now onto the video. You see, everyone thinks that the next shoe to drop in the real estate market will be the after effects of really, really low interest rates that caused inflation, which then caused really, really high interest rates that are bound to cause a recession to some degree. And yes, those policies put in place over the last few years will for sure have a negative effect on some unsuspecting people for the years to come. But there is something that I'm running into almost daily in the real estate market that is affecting way more people right now than I had ever imagined. And it's not interest rates or house prices. No, unfortunately, that thing is marriages falling apart because of well, the mental anguish that we've all been subjected to over the last few years. Yeah, it's unfortunate, but a massive issue in the market right now is divorce. My team and I are speaking with at least three times the amount of people splitting up than we normally do and, well, than we normally have over my entire career. Splitting up is not the easiest thing to talk about. And in my experience, well, it's really not easy to talk about when you have a home to sell. It's a really tough conversation to have with your spouse, let alone inviting in a strange real estate agent like me to help you with the process. Strange, all right. But I'm going to elaborate on that more in just a moment and highlight a few things that you can do to make it easier on you and your soon-to-be ex, which will hopefully make things easier on, well, future you and ideally a lot easier on your kids if you have them. But first, let's talk about divorce and its effects on the market. I personally am a little bit scared about the possibility of how many listings are set to come to the market because of the stresses of COVID that have boiled over maybe as a result of all that extra working from home time, fighting over taking care of the kids, and maybe not being able to see the people and connect with our support systems like we were used to. And now on top of all of that, the costs of inflation and those new higher mortgage payments that for sure are coming your way, well, sadly, it's now causing a lot of couples to split up. And that could have the potential of having hundreds or maybe even thousands of extra listings hit the market all within a short period of time, as things like law offices and family courts return to normal. Because really, when you think about it, that couple that owns a property together, but they're splitting up, they're not going to hold on to that house or try and rekindle their marriage because the market is down and their payments are going up. So over the next year or so, I could see this being a serious cause of many distressed sales. And it only gets worse for those couples who are fighting amongst themselves because who knows, maybe one owner will not sign the necessary paperwork, the listing, or a price adjustment just to spite the other one. And then in that case, you could end up with damaged credit by both parties and maybe even fall into foreclosure. And if I'm right, if these events have induced divorces to flood the market with detached single family homes that you were expecting to live in happily ever after. Well, there could be an even worse effect. You see, if you own with every breakup, of course, you're likely going to end up selling the family home. But that leaves two people needing two more properties. So at a time when divorce could potentially drive the single family home market down, those two owners would then likely look to buy into lower asset classes like townhomes or even condos. 
meaning that we could see those asset prices stay high and go into even higher demand. Or maybe one or both of these former spouses can't afford to purchase anything at all because of the new higher interest rates and the stress test. Maybe the money could be held up in trust for a while or in the courts. And let's face it, divorce is not 50-50. It's actually one-third, one-third, and then one-third to the lawyers as well. Well, then maybe both of those previous owners become individual renters in today's red hot rental market, pushing up rental prices even higher. It's not a pretty sight and it could be our reality. And yes, there are things you can do in any split up to make it easier on you. And although obviously on this channel, I can't help you with all of them, there is one thing I can highly recommend and it has to do with the sale of your family home and the realtor you pick to help you get that done. In almost every breakup I see, there's obviously fighting and disagreements that get worse as time goes on. So most couples I meet with usually say, Oh, yeah, everything is fine. Yeah, we just don't want to be together anymore. And then one or two weeks into the listing, the conversation turns into, No, that fuck. I don't care what that idiot has to say. So to avoid this, you should know that you, as one of the sellers, have every right to have your own agent represent you, you solely, and not your ex. You see, normally the dominant, pushiest, or may I even suggest most abusive spouse in the relationship will assert that their agent must be the person to list the property for sale. And then the more submissive or more agreeable spouse well, they just give in. And then who knows, maybe a close family member or friend ends up being their agent. And then often you, the more agreeable spouse, will find yourself being represented by a salesperson who obviously favors your ex over you. But yeah, as I said, you do have the right to your own agent and so does your spouse. And you can do this all just for one fee. And the agents you pick don't even have to work for the same company. You can do this by signing a document called the co-listing with separate representation. This is when you pick your agent, your ex picks their agent, and then the agents work together to get the home sold. But the separate representation part means that nothing you tell your agent will be or can be shared with the other seller. Because let's face it, you probably have things about that future you that you don't want to share with your ex. And if you hire only one agent, or even if you have a co-listing agreement with joint representation, the agents involved must share anything they learn with all parties if it pertains to the sale of the property. In other words, they can't keep secrets from the other seller. So please, please, please do yourself a favor. If you are splitting up in BC, ask your agent to be represented in a co-listing, but with separate representations. And when it comes to picking the right agent, absolutely insist that you get your own representation and do not give in to the person that may have possibly even been bullying you for the last number of years. Oh, and one more thing. If your agent tells you separate representation is not in your best interest during a breakup, that is most likely because it's not in their best interest of making a paycheck. Because they will for sure make less if they have to share the listing with another agent. And if you are in this situation and need help, go ahead and book a call with me right now using the link in the description below. Remember to subscribe so you don't miss another video. Click the like button and we'll see you in a couple of days.